Hello, my friends. Welcome to another English class. Uh, this is the class number 12, class numero 12. It means that we have just, well, eight more classes, solo ocho clases más, and we're going to finish uh, this module, okay? So, um, welcome. I know some of you are, uh, well, have had some difficulties, but uh, uh, you noticed in the WhatsApp group, there is, um, well, there are some news in which uh, the, from the coordination of uh, Inglés Corporativo, um, we have that notifications that it says uh, we are not going to have classes on Friday. No vamos a tener clases el, el viernes, okay? So this is just for you to know that we have free this Friday. So we're going to continue on Monday, okay? So um, welcome back. Here we have Oscar. Good evening, Oscar. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Uh, how are you tonight? I'm fine. You're fine. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, here we have also Guillermo. Hello, Guillermo. How are you doing? Hey, teacher. Uh, Everything is fine. Okay, everything in order. Nice. Daniel, what about you? Good evening. Good evening, DJ. Everything okay? That's okay. Okay, good one. Uh, Gustavo, hello there. Okay, I guess maybe Gustavo uh, doesn't hear me, but we're going to uh, continue. Uh, hi, John, Jose. Susie, Claudia, Carlos, and Rosalie. We're going to start with this, the class number 12. How to use the past of B and simple past, but negative. This is very, but very simple. Negatives and questions are, are very relaxed. Uh, maybe the most difficult part of using the simple past is uh, the affirmatives. Yeah. In the affirmatives, we have, uh, we should have more uh, focus on that, okay? And here we have this, the first question. Have you ever cheated on an exam? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. ¿Alguna vez he copiado algún examen? No, examen from high school, from elementary school, I don't know. I need you to write, yes, I have, or no, I haven't, please, in the chat. I want to know, okay? Yes, I have, no, I haven't. Si ustedes se han copiado y son sinceros, sí, teacher, la verdad que yo se he copiado, okay? Yes, I have. If you say, no, I haven't, okay, I'm going to. Tal vez les creo. Hey, let's wait for the answers. Okay, let's see. Um, let's listen to the sincere answers. Guillermo says, yes. Daniel, yes. Oscar, yes. Noe, eh, Gustavo, yes. Maritza, no. Are you sure, Maritza? Ni siquiera un poquito. Ni siquiera una pregunta. One, one question. No. Eh, solo me preguntarle al compañero de atrás. Ah, vaya, eso es. ¿Cuál es la respuesta? Ok. 
Eh, Carlos, 10. Yes. Ok, eh, Rivas, 10. Yes. Eh, Alejandra, 10. Yes. Ok. Tell me what subject. Do you remember the subject? ¿Se recuerdan de, de, la, de la materia? Guillermo, do you remember? Because eh, sometimes we have facilities for some subjects. Se nos hace fácil algunas materias. But we have some other subjects that are kind of difficult. What about you? Mm, in social studies. Social studies, okay. You didn't like it too much. Okay. What about Daniel and then Oscar? Do you remember the subject? La materia? Uh, maybe all. <laughs> I'm sorry? Maybe all the materials. All the subjects. Okay, maybe, maybe all of the. Bien sincero. <laughs> I like it. Okay, good. Daniel, what about you and then Gustavo? Um, excuse me. ¿En qué materias fue eso? Lo de la copia. Do you remember? ¿Alguna materia difícil? Um, mathematics. Mathematics. Okay. Yes, mathematics is kind of complicated sometimes. Okay. Thank you, Gustavo. And then we go with uh, Rivas. Okay, Gustavo. In mathematics. Mathematics too. Okay, yes. kind of difficult, kind of difficult uh, subject. Thank you. Uh, what about Rivas and Alejandra? Mathematics, the teacher. Mathematics too. Yes, I know. We are not too, too much. Uh, well, too friends with mathematics, Alejandra. Mathematics. Same, uh, the same mathematics. Yes. <laughs> Okay, mathematics as well. Thank you. And what about Maritza? Did, do you remember any difficult subjects? Una materia un poco difícil? Social studies. You didn't like social studies. Te gustaba sociales, okay. Well, sometimes it depends on the content. It means the topics. In some other times, we have the problems with the teachers. Maybe the people in charge of those uh, subjects, maybe it is not like uh, interesting. So it's kind of boring. Okay, thank you. I'm going to check um, the attendance list. Here we have this. Ways to express disagreement. Uh, okay, ways to express disagreement. Yesterday we were talking about ways to express agreement. Cuando ustedes están de acuerdo con algo. If you listen to a person uh, saying his or her opinion, you say, hey, I agree, absolutely. That's for sure, well said. But in this case, if a person says something and you don't like it, you don't share that opinion, you can use uh, one of these four phrases. Number one, I don't agree. The opposite is I agree. Estoy de acuerdo. I don't agree. No estoy de acuerdo. I don't think so. It's very common. When a person is saying something and maybe uh, it is not like that. No es de esa manera. You can say, mm, I don't think so. No lo creo. Number three, that's not how I say it. I like this. That's not how I say it. That's not how I say it. No es como lo veo. Okay. Oh, yo no lo veo así. And number four, it's like more radical. That's not true. Es bien radical. Eso no es verdad. That's not true. Okay? So, I don't agree. I don't think so. That's not how I see it. That's not true. Okay? I'm going to check the attendance list. Please say hi, hello, good evening. 
And we're going to work on this. And I don't know if we have Adi here, maybe not. Okay, mm, Ana Cristina, no. Elias. Okay, Rivas, yes, right, Rivas? Present teacher, I don't agree. Thank you very much. Uh, what about Claudia Marcela? No. Daniel, okay, Daniel. Hi, I'm here. That's not how I see. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, David? Are you there? I, I don't think so. Thank you, Alejandra. No. Okay, Evelyn, not right. Okay, uh, Graciela. Okay, Guillermo, hi. Hi, teacher, that's not true. Thank you. Jose, okay, my friend, are you there? Yes, teacher, I am here. Good, good evening. Uh, mm -hmm. that's, that's not true. Thank you. John, I don't know if you're like listener, I guess. Okay, maybe you're not available by now. Katia. Okay, Katia, not here. Okay, uh, Maritza. Hello. Present. Thank you. Present. I don't agree. You don't agree. Thank you. Uh, Marvin, no. No, not by now, I guess. Okay, uh, Gustavo, please. Hello, teacher. Present. I don't think, think so. I don't think so. Thank you. Okay, Oscar, what about you? Present, present. I don't think so. Very nice. Uh, Rosalie's listener. Susie, I don't know if you're there. Mm. Teresa, no. Okay. We continue now. And here we have this, some other phrases, right? Very useful phrases. Okay. Yesterday, we were talking about two types of verbs. We have uh, regular verbs and we have also irregular verbs. So in this case, I, I present this two columns. One is for present uh, verbs, but they are irregular. These are present verbs. And here we have... Uh, simple past verbs they are irregular you have too much okay we have too much tenemos que unirlos i'm going to give you some time please uh, take a uh, think of two or three options okay i'm going to ask you in a moment Okay, we're going to start here. Maybe we can start with Maritza and then Guillermo. Okay, Maritza. Uh, sí. Say the in present and past. Okay, I'm sorry. Sí, and so. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't see what. Which one? Sí, ver. Sí, okay. Escuche fi. Okay, sí. No, so. So, okay. Okay, so. Thank you, Guillermo and Alejandro. Make, made. Very good pronunciation, made. And here we, ha we have made. Solo cambia the, the K and the D. Well, they are the difference, okay? Make, made. Alejandra and Oscar. Rome, Ram. Mm-hmm. Run. Mm, oh, 
sorry. Yeah, it's like this. Okay, Oscar, your turn. And then Daniel. Sing, sang. Good. Okay, here is sing, sang. Very nice. Daniel, please. And then Gustavo. Lost, lost. Okay, aquí sería luz. Mm -hmm. Luz y la otra sería lost. Thank you. Luz and lost. Very nice. Eh, Gustavo and then Rivas. Mid. Mid. Mm -hmm. Mid. And then here we have met. Mm, what about Rivas and Jose Andres? Will Roll. Okay. Sería right. Esa verdad. Okay. And road. Huh? Right and road. Thank you. I don't know if Jose is ready. And then we go with some other. Uh, hello, teacher. In my case, cell sold. Thank you. So on so and we have just two more. Very easy, okay? Ring. Here we have what is it? Rang. And say, okay. Say and the past is said. No digan save. Es said como tener said. In Spanish, of course. So say and said. And these are like um, verbs in simple past, but we have like um, we have like affirmative forms, okay? Because they are in simple past. Okay, let's move. And here we have this. Now that we uh, are clear, okay? Just to remember. We're going to have feedback. Vamos a tener una pequeña retroalimentación. Yesterday, we were talking about two types of verbs. Uh, regular verbs. And here we have also irregular verbs. So, regular verbs are, are these. And the characteristic is that you have to add ed at the end. Okay, they are very logical. And here we have also irregular verbs. A characteristic of this type of verb is that it changes when you use them in the past, okay? So, simple. Regulares y irregulares. Ya tenemos bien claro. ED, para los regulares, los irregulares cambian. Okay. Now, um, we have another chart. También les comenté that uh, related to regular verbs we have three cases tenemos tres casos one case is uh, when the verb is pronounced with id cuando se pronuncia con id al final for example here we have for example hate hated taste tasted pretend pretended act acted Así que todos los verbos que terminen en T y D, que son regulares, y se le agregan ED, se va a pronunciar con ID al final. We have the other case, the pronunciation of T, la pronunciación de la T. Cuando los verbos terminen en K, en S, en X, en P, en, A, en H, normalmente se le agrega ED y se pronuncian con T. Por ejemplo, park, que es parquear, en pasado park. Tenemos aquí pasar. Past. En pasado sería past. Finish. Finish. Okay. And we have the other case with pronunciation of D, la pronunciación de la D. If the verb finishes with L, Y, N, E, R, W, uh, G, M, normally, 
Eh, you're going to pronounce, lo van a pronunciar con letra D. Por ejemplo, tenemos plan, plan, answer, answer, stay, stayed, arrive, arrive, memorize, memorize. Okay, so that's the point of this. But we're going to use this in affirmatives. Vamos a utilizar este relajo que pueden ver todo esto en afirmativas. In negatives, they are very easy. En las negativas son bastante fáciles, super fácil. I'm going to show you. Okay, here we have a conversation between Luz and Eva. In this, it says like this. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo or Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Okay, I'm going to focus on some words. Cuando utilizamos esto, decimos the agent, no the agent. ¿verdad? The agent. We know that actually, ya sabemos que actually significa realmente. Apologies. Again. Okay. And here we have some verbs. Explained. Explained. Okay. Called con D. Called. And that's it, okay? We have uh, irregular verbs. Tenemos verbos irregulares, like both. La clave de acá es el didn't. Didn't es eh, como el don't, para decir don't, pero en pasado, okay? So we're going to have some, some practice. I would like you to have some screenshots. A ver si me pueden colaborar con la screenshot here. Eh, quizás Maritza o no sé si hay alguien más que me puede colaborar. Okay, we're going to practice. Recuerden que el negativo se dice didn't. Didn't. Okay, lo voy a enviar. I'm going to assign you. Lo voy a asignar a las salas. Thank you, Maritza. Thank you so much. Ok, my friends. Sí, en un momento. Let's practice. Recuerden intercambiar siempre los personajes.
Okay, Guillermo, difficulties. Dificultad de Guillermo o Teresa. No sé si les llegó la solicitud. No, teacher. Ahorita, Mon. Ok. Ahorita, teacher. Permítame. Perdón que voy entrando. Buenas noches. Ok, buenas noches. Ok, thank you.
Okay, my friends, uh, welcome back here. Um, let's let's work on this negatives and affirmatives. Okay. Um, here we have this. Maybe we can have. Hello, Evelyn. Everything okay? No, teacher. Okay. Let me check this. Okay, Evelyn, qué bueno que ya te conectaste. Okay, maybe we can have this uh, practice of Maritza. Who was your partner? Guillermo. Okay, please. Uh, I don't know who starts, Maritza or Guillermo. Uh, no. Okay. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. It wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate and his name was Romeo. And he explained me everything to me. Very nice. Thank you, my friends. Okay, now let's listen to another team. Uh, Oscar, uh, could you help me, please? Who was your classmate? No, es Gustavo. Okay, Gustavo, are you ready? Okay. Please, I don't know who starts. Inicio. Gustavo. Okay, Gustavo, please. Can you can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't actually. I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apology for that. And uh, what about, about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, my friends. So, please, I need you to, do, to focus on affirmatives and negative sentences. Please. We're going to complete this chart. Read the conversation again. Ya lo leímos. De nuevo. And write the activities that happens and the ones that didn't. Vamos a revisar. Ok. The, the activities that uh, did happen, las actividades que sí pasaron son las afirmativas normalmente. Y las que no pasaron son las eh, negativas. Normalmente llevan was not o principalmente las de didn't. Ok, las de didn't van acá. Bien. Eh, revisemos. John me consultaba si dices para negativo y para pregunta. Ya voy a aclarar ese punto. Ok. So, um, take a look at the, at the conversations. Veamos la conversación. ¿Cuáles consideran que pueden ser las cosas que sí pasaron y cosas que no pasaron? Si sí, se pudo usar el producto. Y sí, pues hay otros detalles. Si sí, le dieron un número de confirmación. Ok. We're going to start with uh, maybe uh, Teresa. Do you have any idea? Uh, I think that the agent didn't say his name. The agent okay. didn't give a... Only one. 
only, only one, Teresa, please. Ah, okay, okay. But thank you. Very good point. Did it, didn't say his name. It is like this. Cosa que no pasó. Okay. Thank you. What about if we go this time with Alejandra and then Rivas? Okay, Alejandra. Okay, maybe Alejandra is not there. Uh, Rivas, what about you? Hey, teacher. And uh, the ayah didn't give me confirmation number. Okay, didn't give. Okay. Yes, didn't give confirmation. Very good. Yes, that's another thing that it was it didn't happen. Thank you. Okay, uh, maybe we can have Daniel and then Guillermo. He didn't say the agent. Okay. He didn't say what? The agent. Okay. The agent's name. Luz. Yes, yeah, didn't. Uh, he wasn't kind, no fue amable. So he didn't, didn't say the agent name. Thank you. Okay, what about Oscar and then Maritza? In the second call, the agent uh, did say his name. Okay, in the second call, yes, said his name. Thank you, uh, Maritza and Guillermo. You have another, Maritza? His name was Romeo. Okay. Uh, okay, very nice. Y hay algo más que eso? Mm, the, sec the other agent, Romeo, he explained everything to the customer. He explained, thank you, yes. As he says, as Maritza mentioned, uh, explain everything and yeah, his name was Romeo. Okay, thank you. Aquí en la primera es con una D, said, yo me equivoqué. Así. Okay, um, well, this is part of, thank you, my friends. Thank, this is part of the things that it did happen, cosa que sí pasaron and didn't happen, okay? Si se dan cuenta, todo lo que no pasó lleva el didn't, pero el verbo siempre va en su forma base, no cambia. No cambia, ya sea regular o irregular. Entonces, esa es una característica de las oraciones negativas. Okay, let, let's continue. If you notice, I sent an image, a list of verbs in the WhatsApp group. If you can check it. Here we have 101 irregular past tense verbs. Look at this. I know that you already know some of these verbs. For example, hay unos verbos que están facilísimos. Look at this. El que les decía, could. Miren qué belleza de verbos. Put. Let. Uh, let. The, thank you. That's another word. Is let. Yeah. Set. Set, set, set. Yes, right. Where is it? In the middle. At the end. In the middle. In the middle. The at the end. The last one. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. Very good. And mm -hmm. hurt. Hurt with a... 44. Mm -hmm. 44. Yeah, that, that's the key, the number. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And number I... five, bet. Bet. Look, thank you. Here I have some 
you have a lot, right? Okay. Why? What number, I'm sorry? The number. Why? Uh, 15, 8. Okay. 58. 63. Yeah, uh, ese sería quit. Porque quiet es calmado, tranquilo, pero quit, yes. Quit. Uh, what is the other? 60 what? Ah, yeah, 68. Yeah, that's it. So, look at, look, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we we have found ya hemos encontrado like eight and I guess nine yeah shut cuando decimos shut es cerrar ok por eso la, la palabra bien fuerte es cállate la boca es shut up verdad porque shut up pero shut significa cerrar eh, en realidad So, nine, thank you, John, nine easy verbs. Solo ahí tenemos nueve verbos fáciles. Look at this. So, uh, there is no reason why, uh, why to say it is so difficult and we're not going or I am not going to learn these verbs, teacher. No hay razón, ya vemos. Hay nueve que son fáciles. Because uh, they don't change. Eso no cambia. In present and past. Le voy a dar un momento. I'm going to give you one minute. I need you to count how many verbs you know in present and past. Be honest. Sean sinceros y honestos. Cuente cuántos verbos se conocen en presente y en, y en pasado. Por ejemplo, estoy seguro que muchos conocen do indeed. Muchos también conocen get and got. Pero depende de ustedes. Les doy un minuto. Count them. Cuéntenlos y me van a decir el número. ¿Cuántos se ¿Cuántos conocen el presente y el pasado? Please, take a look. Okay, please uh, write in the chat some how many verbs you know. ¿Cuántos verbos conocen? If you know 50, 61, 73, please do it. I'm going to wait. Where I'm going to wait for your answers. Write the number of verbs you know in the chat.
Well, it doesn't, it, uh, well, it is not like, if you know 100 verbs, you are the best. No se trata de que te sepa sin verbos, eres el mejor. No, it's like to have an idea. Uh, yeah, Guillermo 16, John 33, uh, we have Teresa 28, Oscar 65, Marita 12. It doesn't matter, okay? It is just to have an idea how many words you know. Alejandra 25. Yeah, that's it. Good. If you notice, nobody's going to say zero. Okay? No, nobody's going to say three. So you know some verbs. If you need to learn more, yeah, definitely. We we always are learning more and more verbs. Okay? Well, we continue. And, and let's see. Well, let's go with this. Have you ever watched or been in a public fight? ¿Alguna vez han estado en una pelea pública? Uh, it is not a matter of, that you have participated, maybe a friend, maybe a, another person that you don't know, but you are watching because maybe you are in a restaurant, you are on the street, you are in a concert, and it happens. Uh, remember, you're not going to be included in the fight, but you have what to, okay? So maybe we want to listen, in this case, to Maritza, and then we go with Alejandra. Okay, Maritza? What do you think about this? Yes? No, teacher. Never. No, never. Really? So pacific. You yes. need more action. <laughs> you need a, more action. A, Come on. I okay. am a cute person. Okay. Yes, and you are a quiet person, and you are, you have been in quiet places, right? I saw lugares tranquilos. Thank you. Okay, Alejandra, and then we go with John. No, teacher. No, no fights in your life. No, no fight. <laughs> Come on, I don't, I don't believe you. Thank you, Alejandra. John, what about you? Okay, um, good evening, everybody. Um, I saw a woman's fight on the bus and it oh. was embarrassing. <laughs> I could I couldn't do anything since I was at the back and the unit was full of passengers. All for a seat in the end, the driver got them off the bus and gave them their money. Okay, yeah, I, I have seen it is like uh, very, as you mentioned, embarrassing. I have watched yes. uh, some girls fight. I was I was a teenager. I was at high school, and it is difficult to separate them. Uh, yeah. One well, my friend and I separate those girls, but it is very comfortable, embarrassing. Yeah, it's like they fight, but with a lot of energy. So, well, uh, thank you, John. And that was very embarrassing, especially because they were on the bus. Imagine. Okay. Uh, thank you, John. Good. Uh, what if we listen to Teresa and then we go with Guillermo? Yeah. I saw a lot of fights. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. Select one. One that you want to share? I, I remember when I was working in a concert and I remember that a family was trying to and estaba tratando de entrar to the stadium and the police was checking the cars and the, 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 and yeah, the, the person cars. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, and the person was Habían tomado, was drunk. Yeah, yeah, they were, they were drunk. Uh -huh. 
and they were screaming and se bajaron del carro. Yeah, yeah, they were down. Uh -huh, and, and what else? Uh, insultaron a la policía. Really, come y, on. Y se los quería llevar por el régimen. No sé cómo decir todo eso. Ah, it was, it, it is recent. <laughs> es reciente. Sí, 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 sí. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. I know you, you can say, ah, that happened a lot of years ago, but people are violent. No, fue yeah. por el concierto de Wisin y Yandel. Really, Wisin y Yandel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and, and Teresa, you work in, a, in some events. Yeah, because I am a journalist, a multimedia journalist. And okay, I okay. I went to everything of, of Events. Of, the, of the event, so you, you, have, of, you have evidence of, of that fight, yeah. For example. Yeah, I was a uh, film, filming, in... yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, come yeah. on, and I don't know, what's crazy, yeah, it's kind of crazy. And because yeah. you attend to different type of, of activities, uh, imagine in every concert, there's always a fight. There's mm -hmm. always, even can be small, aunque sea pequeño, maybe an argue, quizás una discusión verbal, but always conflict. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, could very, be, could be. Yeah, could I have be. seen, well, I like I like to go, to, well, depends on the concerts, of course, because I have yeah, attended yeah. to rock concerts, <laughs> and all mm -hmm. the concerts that I have attended is like, well, kind of violent, but depends, mm -hmm. because romantic, mm -hmm. romantic artists, yeah, romantic mm -hmm. concerts are different. Yeah. So I... after wow. it, you have a lot of anecdotes. Tiene muchas anecdotas. Otro día no Yeah. Sí, sí. Sí. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That is a very nice and interesting. Uh, what about if we go with who? Guillermo. Mm, yes, teacher. Uh, I watch uh, a fight. I remember that I was uh, returning to my home mm -hmm. around 6 p.m. And um, two guys, uh, they crash with their cars. Okay. And they fight a, a lot. It was really heavy to, to see that. I okay. mean, one, because there are a lot of traffic mm -hmm. and they are fighting in the middle of the street. In front of a lot of public, in front of people. Yes. In middle of La Gran Vía. Oh, really? In, yeah. In front of uh, KFC. Ah, KFC. Yes, I know. Ah, yes. Because people are, are going out fr from the mall, right? Yes. So, yeah, that wow. was crazy, but <laughs> it was yeah. a little bit fun. Yeah, it, it is kind of fun. And remember, nowadays, as the, Teresa was saying, it is uh, something that can be recorded with the cell phones. You can be a, you can appear now on the social media in some videos or photographs. Oh, uh, that, that's really embarrassing. So, well. Uh, do you I, mean, remember? I, I remember that I, I was watching that they are fighting, but I have a lot of, of I don't know how to say that. Uh, tenía como mucho sueño, entonces lo uh, vi. I was sleepy. Y me volví a dormir. <laughs> okay, it's like a commercial. Okay, the commercial, and then, okay, bye bye. Let's continue sleeping. Okay. <laughs> well. Part, it, that, that is one of the uh, positive things that uh, public transportation has, okay? So you can watch shows, okay? Thank you, Guillermo. And that it is very common here in Salvador, some car accidents, car crashes, and then people try to fight or they fight because of that. Imagine the level of stress that we are living it, it, it is really uh, uh, like worrying. We have to worry about it. Thank you, 
Guillermo, and we're going to finish with one person, Jose. Okay, Jose, tell us, have you ever watched some fights? Uh, hello, teacher. Uh, in my case, I never, I never had a, a, a watch a fight, right? I never been, basically, I never been in a public fight, right? Um, maybe just watch on TV. <laughs> on on TV perhaps. or on, on Facebook, yeah, it is very on, common. On Facebook, uh, perhaps yeah, you... uh, public fights back in the days when I was in my childhood, maybe or teenager when I was in my teenager. Yeah, that's the uh, only thing that I can think. Okay, nowadays. yeah, yeah, it's kind of uh, well, I or was... or doggies public fight. Ah, I'm yeah, talking about the animal. Sure. Yeah, that's another the animal that that's very common. Yeah, there are some doggies. Okay. Um. So uh, I am witness. Yeah, you you have you have witness that presenciado. Yes, ha sido testigo. So imagine, maybe like twenty years or fifteen years ago, or maybe ten. I don't know. It was, but very common, uh, some fights between different type of institutions, students from colleges, uh, for example, uh, nacionales and técnicos, it was very common that uh, you could see that uh, in the park or on streets. I remember when I was studying, it was, but very common. So, mm. come on. And something that it was really sad is that those... Uh, Adolescents uh, used to have weapons, tenían armas. So come on, so really, really difficult nowadays. I guess it it is mm, less. Creo que es menos. It is less uh, the 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 number of fights that you can see in that way. Yes, Teresa says. I remember. I guess most of you remember, right? You have you have seen. Well, I saw a lot of. Uh, fights when I was traveling. Okay, my friends, we're going to continue always. Uh, well, we're going to study two things. Vamos a estudiar dos cosas. Number one, we're going to study antonyms. Antonyms, uh, it's like a different word, similar uh, uh, synonym is similar word. Okay, antonyms are opposite. Así que vamos a encontrar los opuestos. For example, here you can find uh, what? Let's see. No, let's see. Seven. Look, expensive, caro, cheap. Okay. In every number, we have a line of four words. You have to select two words from that category and say what are the antonyms. Vamos a ver los antonyms, okay? Maybe Maritza can help us, uh, or I don't know if we have some other, sometimes John. If you could send the screenshot from this, because mm -hmm. we're going to work on two worksheets. Thank you, Maritza. And please, we're going to work with the other screenshot, the screenshot the, with the other worksheet that is this. These are irregular verbs. They are, uh, here we have affirmative. For example, here we have go. The, what is the pass of go? Give, fly. And all of these verbs, you can find them on the list that I send you. En la lista que les envié, ahí está. Okay, please, uh, Maritza, maybe you can send. Yeah. 
this and we're going to practice we're going to work in, in teams vamos a trabajar siempre en equipos please so see you in a moment my friends work in pairs and see you in a moment thank you Maritza for helping with the screenshots Please accept the request that I send you. Accept la solicitud que les envío. Fast, slow. Ok, necesito que acepten la solicitud de los demás para que puedan trabajar en equipo. No sé si a Doris ya le llegó la solicitud. Yes, this is Okay. Okay.
Okay, uh, tell me you from one to 14, uh, what are the antonyms that you could identify in these categories? Let's see, maybe we can start this time with Evelyn. You have one, you tell me the number and the words. One number. Number, number one. Mm -hmm. What are the words? Hey. Not ready? No salista todavía? No, 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 no. no, no. Ok, no de ninguna está lista. Teacher, pero no sé si... Es que yo lo hice, bueno, diferente, no sé. El, el recuadro que envió Marisa de último lo íbamos a traducir a los verbos irregulares, ¿no es así? Sí, pero estamos ahorita con este, puedes ver este, como tenemos dos cuadros. Ajá, ese es el primero. Ok, te pregunto después entonces para el otro. Ok. Uh, Guillermo, and then we go with Oscar. Ok, Guillermo. Mm, the number one, uh, fast and slow. Thank you. Uh, we go now with Oscar and then Maritza. The number 10, full and empty. Very nice, full and empty. Ok, Maritza and Alejandra. Number nine. Mm -hmm, number nine. Sad, happy. Yes, that's it. Sad and happy. Okay, Alejandra, and then we go with, um, let me see, John. The number six, the number 12, sick and healthy. Mm -hmm. Sick and healthy. I don't know if John is ready. If not, we're going to... John, I don't know if you're there. If not, we go with Gustavo. Okay, Gustavo. Hi, teacher. Uh, the number three. Yeah. Four. Hub. Yes. Cold and hot. Uh, okay. Evelyn, are you ready? Number five. Mm -hmm. Heavy, light. Mm -hmm. Heavy and light. Thank you. Daniel, please, you have yours. Yes, uh, number 11. Mm -hmm. Small, big. Okay, small and big. Okay, Rivas, you go. Number two, teacher, warm, hot. Okay. Could it be? Okay, yes. Warm and hot. Okay, thank you. Uh, what about Jose? Okay, uh, Jose, if you're ready. Uh, no, teacher, in this case, I am not ready. Okay, so let's listen if you have some other. Guillermo, you have some other uh, answer? Uh, just to turn Please. number um, number seven expensive and cheap mm -hmm. seven yeah that's it expensive and cheap okay Maritza you have some others Maritza. Sí, teacher. Uh, you have some others? Uh, nervous, calm. Uh, the number? Mm -hmm. uh, 14. Mm -hmm. Okay, nervous. nervous. Okay. Nervous and calm. calm. Yeah, that's it. Thank calm. you. Daniel, do you have some other? Maybe four, six, or eight and 13? And for the mm -hmm. dirty and clean. Good one, dirty 
and clean. There are they are opposites. Okay, good. Oscar and Alejandro, if you have some other. Number uh, six, mm -hmm. dark and light. Yeah, okay. Dark and light, okay. Alejandra, are you there? Maybe eight or 13? Thirteen. Thirteen. Long, yes. Long and short. Yes. Long and short. And maybe Gustavo can help us with number eight, the last one. Eight. Um, Stupid. Mm -hmm. And clever. Clever. Yeah, that's it. Thank yeah. you, my friends. So if you notice here, we have... um. Antonyms, this is really helpful for your vocabulary. Remember, we studied nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, and in this case, all of them are adjectives. But we have to be clear about uh, the antonyms. So we can have like a better idea how to describe people, situations, or things, or places. Okay. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight volunteers for this. We have just to uh, write the verb in simple past. Volunteers for this. Okay. Me not. Can you drove a, uh, a sport bike. Okay. Okay, uh, drive, drove, the girl drove, okay. Thank you. Good, thank you, Daniel. Okay, we go with Evelyn and then uh, Alejandra. Okay, Evelyn. Number three, let's go, flee away, far away. Uh, okay, the dove, uh-huh. Seria, seria flew, mm -hmm. flew far away, Please. thank you. Alejandra, and then we go with uh, Maritza. My father forgot the keys. Mm -hmm. Forgot the keys. Okay, thank you. Uh, we go with Maritza and Oscar. Number two. Mm -hmm. He gave me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Barbara Maritza. <laughs> thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, Oscar and Guillermo. Uh, Einstein got the Nobel Prize. Yes. Thank you. Okay, uh, we go with Guillermo and Gustavo. Uh, she just had a baby. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, we go with Gustavo and uh, maybe we can have Rivas. They, they went to the beach. Good. They went to the beach and... I knew the correct chancellor. Good one, Rivas. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Créanme que ahora, ya, now that you're practicing, it is really helpful. Eso ayuda bastante. Practicar. Okay. Thank you. Now you are ready to study uh, negatives also, for example. Here we have how to use past to be in simple negative. Okay. Uh, we already use the past to be. El pasado de be eh, siempre vamos a utilizar was and were. But in present, if we want to say the negative, for example, is the negative. Is not, o también podemos decir, isn't. Ok. Eh, por eso mismo, was es was not o wasn't. Where sería weren't or were not. Fácil, past be. Now, ahora vamos al más fácil. In simple past, en el pasado simple, 
we use a word that is really powerful. In present, we have don't. In past, in past, we have didn't. Es el mismo, solo que don't es para presente y didn't es para pasado. In present, we have that difficulty that we have two types of words. Tenemos dos tipos de palabras. Don't, it doesn't. Remember that doesn't is for third person. Doesn't es para tercera persona. But in this, didn't is for everything. Más fácil todavía. Didn't es para todo. ¿Verdad? Eso sí nos gusta. Ahora, teacher, in the verb, uh, we have to change it to the past. No, not really. We have to use this verb in the base form. Vamos a utilizar el, el verbo en su forma base. Eh, ¿Cuál es su forma base? Es en presente. Teacher, but we, if we have the verb in present, what about the past? Eh, the word didn't, la, la palabra didn't hace y modifica, perdón, hace que el verbo sea en pasado o modifica el verbo. Ejemplo. Here we have, I didn't receive any number. Si lo hiciéramos en afirmativo, receive es un regular y debería de tener una D. Pero como solo lo queremos hacer negativo en pasado, didn't and voila. Bingo. Así que I didn't, you didn't, 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 todo didn't, 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 didn't. Y el verbo en su forma base, así como lo encuentran en la lista de verbos que les, que les envié o en cómo se llama también en diccionario. Ok. Let's listen to some of you and we're going to start with Oscar, please. I need you to help me reading these three sentences and then we go with Maritza. Okay, I wasn't interested. You weren't cold. He wasn't kind. Kind, thank you. Okay, Maritza here, please. The people weren't helpful. They weren't online. Thank you. Okay, Gustavo, please help me with this simple pass. Ahora vamos con el pasado simple. I didn't receive any, any number. Mm -hmm. you, you didn't send a contract. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't say his name. Thank you. Okay, Guillermo, please help me with the last, the last two sentences. Uh, she didn't call again. We didn't buy a credit. Okay, thank you. Now, what is the difference between simple past and past to be? Básicamente, el pasado simple se trata de verbos. Todos son verbos. Y vamos a utilizar el didn't. Pero en el pasado de be, solo le vamos a agregar not. A was y a were. Esa es la diferencia. Another difference. Simple past verbs are action verbs. Todos estos son verbos de acción. Comprar, llamar, decir, enviar, recibir. En cambio, el past of B solo es ser o estar, pero en pasado. Now, write the sentences using the negative in simple past. Uh, these uh, six sentences, estas seis oraciones, they are in present. They are affirmative and present. We have to change to the simple past. Las debemos de cambiar al pasado simple. Okay. Think about this. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Le doy un par de segundos para que piensen, and then we complete them.
Ok. Okay, Daniel, and here we have one number, one from one to six. Select one sentence. Okay, the number one. I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Okay. I wasn't, right? Yes. Thank you. Yes. I wasn't satisfied. Yes, with my laptop. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, we go with Guillermo, right? Okay, uh, Marta didn't didn't write a letter to her boss. To her boss. Microphone, John. Ten cuidado, please. Okay, Marta didn't. Yes, right. Yeah, base form. Yes. Mm -hmm. A letter to her boss. If you notice how difficult is third person in present, right? ¿Verdad? Lo, las terceras personas, that's kind of uh, complicated. But here is like easy. Okay, maybe we can have the participation of Rivas. Can you help us, Rivas? Hey, and then you Maritza, can... please. We weren't so happy with the food service. Yes. We weren't so happy with blah, 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 okay? We weren't, good, okay? And maybe Maritza and we can have Gustavo. Pedro, Pedro and me uh, didn't drive to the Pedro, company. Pedro and me didn't, didn't drive to the company, yes, okay? Gustavo? Number number six. Mm -hmm. The program didn't. Casi too como, slow. como es el is en pasado, ¿cómo decimos is? ¿No ¿Te acuerdas? Es... Was. 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 Y la, pero como estamos. Yes, wasn't. We are using negative. Wasn't to to slow. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you. And maybe we can have the last one. Oscar can help us with number five. The principal. The principal didn't send many emails. Yeah. Didn't send without S. La S es para presente. Yeah, didn't send many emails. Thank you, my friends. So if you notice, guys, you did it really good. Simple, easy. In so negative. Uh, yes, Daniel, tell me. The number four, for what it didn't, you know, wasn't. Ah, uh, because in this case, we have an action verb. Porque aquí tenemos un verbo de acción. El verbo de acción es drive. Vamos a utilizar was and were cuando, cuando identifiquemos el verbo to be. Aquí está el is, aquí está el am y el are. ¿Ok? Y eso sí pasa a was y a were. Pero en el resto, como son verbos de acción, vamos a utilizar la negación del simple past. ¿Ok? Ahora, si en el número 4, en lugar de drive, dijera are, Pedro and me are in the company. In, no, to. In. Entonces sería Pedro and me were not or weren't in the company. So that's the reason. Okay, uh, let's continue with the speaking activity that here we have. There are some other uh, participants who have not mentioned. Uh, what about Rivas? In your case, my friend, have you ever uh, watched a Polish yes, fight? Teacher. 
Yes, teacher. When I go to the stadium, it is common to see five be between fans. <laughs> yes, uh, you are totally correct, uh, Rivas. In the stadium, it is so common. Uh, Teresa, I guess you are not here, but I mentioned that in, in every concert, there's a fight. It is not totally true. But in the stadium, there is always one fight. One, at least one. So that's kind of common. Especially between fans on the contrary teams. But sometimes they belong to the same team. A veces del mismo equipo and they are fighting. Alianza, so, teacher. <laughs> yeah, Alianza is very uh, a very special team. Well, fans. The Alianza has a special fans. <laughs> very nice. Thank you. Totally agree, Rivas. What about if we go with Gustavo and then Oscar? Hi, teacher. Hello. I, I remember on site at school because uh, he was bo bothering me. Ah, okay. Bother. Uh, it, it is very common, right? Bothering maybe because of words or pushing. A veces está empujando palabras. So you react, right? It's a normal reaction. So you defend yourself, Gustavo, right? Te defendiste. Uh, uh, you, you defended. Uh, Te yes, defendiste. Yes. Okay, yes, that, yes. okay, that's uh, for defense. Thank you, Gustavo. Okay, very, but very common in schools, especially in public schools. Okay, Oscar, and after Oscar, we go with Evelyn. Uh, in my case, I watched many fights, like to in the bus and in my neighborhood, uh, in between brothers, like you say, is is very common. Mm -hmm. And yeah, in the school too. The school, yeah, good examples, Oscar, in the neighborhood, on the bus, in the school. Even there are some families, as you mentioned, uh, brothers. Maybe they have a celebration. They are drinking some tequila, alcohol, or beer. I don't know, whatever. And sometimes they start arguing, saying something, and they finish in, uh, well, they finish uh, like fighting, right? Yes. So, it's very common. <laughs> very common here in El Salvador. Welcome to El Salvador. Thank you, uh, Oscar. And what about Evelyn and then Daniel? Evelyn, have you ever watched it? Uh, yes, I go play all the time. Mm -hmm. Do you remember where? ¿Te recuerdas dónde? Mm, in the market. In the market? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Kind of common in the market sometimes. Maritza smiles because maybe she remembers something. Dice Maritza que no, pero creo que sí ha visto. Okay, thank you, uh, Evelyn. Daniel, and then... Creo que arriba ya pasaste. Okay, Daniel. Okay, uh, when I was a kid, I watched five. Uh, I like it to watch Ultimate Fighter. And my favorite... Uh, luchador, ¿cómo sería? Ah, uh, fighter. Mm -hmm. My favorite fighter is uh, uh, Conor McGregor. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I watch it and WWE. Oh, yeah, okay. That's wrestler. Mm -hmm. Son lucha libres, okay? Yeah, it's part of the show. Okay, uh, we're going to have some listening. This is a very short listening. So I'm going to play two times. It is like 35 seconds. I will see it. So let's uh, listen this audio. And please uh, pay attention. Try to take notes of some words, phrases, or ideas. So you can share it later. Okay. Here we go. It's called the Knife and Tuck, and it's very near the city center. 
At lunch, it's full of office workers, but I like to go before that in the middle of the morning. I go there and order a big breakfast and take one of their newspapers and just relax for an hour or so. Their pancakes are delicious with bits of apple and banana. Wonderful. They don't have a TV in there, which I love. They just have some jazz music, very quiet, nothing too loud. One more time. It's called the Knife and Tuck, and it's very near the city center. At lunch, it's full of office workers, but I like to go before that in the middle of the morning. I go there and order a big breakfast and take one of their newspapers and just relax for an hour or so. Their pancakes are delicious with bits of apple and banana. Wonderful. They don't have a TV in there, which I love. They just have some jazz music, very quiet, nothing too loud. Well, maybe you can mention some things that you remember, Evelyn, maybe, and then we go with Rivas. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Okay, we go with Rivas and then Alejandro. It's cool the night in the middle of the morning. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. Alejandra, and then we go with Daniel. Maybe Alejandra is not available. Daniel, and then Gustavo. Sorry, teacher. I don't listen very well. Okay. Gustavo and Maritza. Okay, maybe we're not available. Maritza and Guillermo. Please, Maritza, tell me. The pancakes are delicious. Pizza, apple, and banana. Mm -hmm. Of course, it is. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, Guillermo, we finish with you. Okay, maybe Guillermo can hear me. Well, um, I'm going to present the text. Here is it. It's called the knife and tuck, and and it's very near the city center. Mm -hmm. They talk about uh, jazz music, very quiet, wonderful, and uh, yeah, pancakes, banana. And if you notice, uh, all of these ver uh, words are kind of simple, not complicated uh, vocabulary. So it is like very simple, but it is good to, to have this. Well, I'm, we're going to finish this. I need you to prepare one sentence. Necesito que preparen una oración, okay? Prepare one sentence uh, to finish this. Maybe it could be like uh, in using verb B, or it can be using action verbs. For example, uh, my boss was in the park, or uh, my brother uh, didn't, vamos a traer las negativas, didn't play yesterday. Okay, and was, si se dan cuenta, la, las negativas son más fáciles, like very simple. Yesterday we have like a kind of difficult topic. Okay, I'm going to call you one by one, lo llamo uno por uno, and please uh, try to select one of these, verb be or action verbs, o seleccionen ya sea el verbo to be o cualquiera de uh, simple past, uh, de verbos, okay? La, le doy un minuto para que preparen su oración and be ready when I call you
Okay. Uh, let's see who do we have here. Addis, listener. Ana Cristina, pues creo que nunca me, me, me comenta nada. Elías no está. Rivas. Okay, Rivas. Okay, What about you? Hi. My school, my school didn't close yesterday. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. And Claudia, I don't know. Daniel, please, Daniel. What about your sentence? We didn't have classes on Sunday. Okay, we didn't have classes on Sunday. Good. Uh, Alejandra. Okay, Evelyn, ready with your sentence? My, my mother didn't in the talk. Okay, didn't, for example, cook. Didn't cook yesterday. Let's have the verb boy. Okay, and Guillermo, what about you? My dad didn't clean the house. <laughs> nice. Uh, Jose, are you there, Jose? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, in my case, uh, my mom didn't cook yesterday. Okay. John, are you there? Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Uh, he didn't want to eat pizza. Oh, thank you. Uh, Maritza? Uh, present, she didn't send the requested information. Good, okay. No, I guess he was a, was a listener. Gustavo, I don't know if you're there. Okay. Hi, teacher. I, I didn't drive to my job. Okay. Thank you. Um, Oscar? Uh, my children didn't sleep. Early. Thank you. My children. Sin answer, my children. Yes. Okay, yes. Very nice. Okay, Rosalie, listener. Susie, I don't know. Uh, Teresa, your sentence. Okay, I guess Teresa is not here. Okay, my friends, uh, let's uh, listen here. Uh, Jose, ya te quedaste con, en la, con la sesión de que tenemos después de clases. Yo es no no te has quedado, ¿verdad? No, nunca. nunca. Te quedas un momento ahora, ¿ok? Bye. The rest eh, see you tomorrow, lo veo mañana, recuerden que viernes no hay clases. ¿Ok? Have a good night. Bye bye my friend. Good night teacher. Good night. Okay. Good night. Bye bye. Yeah. Have a good night. Okay, Jose, tell me, uh, do you have some doubts? Do you have some questions related to the platform, to the classes, maybe grammar structure, and some vocabulary? In my, in my case, just grammar structure because it's the most difficult thing in my okay. case. Do you have one grammar structure that you consider that we can review? Maybe everything because it might Okay, I just speak teacher. I didn't know how I really learned it. So, okay, but 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 what what you mean? Uh, you need to improve your speaking. Is that what you say? Yeah, yeah. But answering your question, maybe future and past, maybe more past. Okay. And third, and third person because so uh, in some cases. Um, call center, they beat me. They don't accept me. Have you have you tried before? I have been trying many times yesterday because uh, I am be able, I capable to speak in fast, but not like quickly or or like they really want. But I start to really speak in fast. In fast. I, I consider I consider that you speak fluently, so you speak fast. Maybe, well, remember that there are some filters in which the, it is not that you are not, your English is not enough, 
but depends on some people. We were talking with Guillermo the last time that there are some recruiters, people who are uh, who proceed with the interview and just because of your appearance or because maybe you don't like him or her, it's like, well, this person is not, it's not, a, a, well, it's not enough. So the maybe- most of, The most of the time is like, they say, teacher, that's why I am, I am saying to you, I need to improve like my, my third person past, right? That's why I was okay. like, Asking okay. you we, about how can I learn really <clears throat> learn how how can I really learn better okay. by regular in regular. I'm going I'm going to to to, to explain something. Uh, have you been present in classes when I have explained this? Regular and regular, yes. Uh, yes, teacher. That yes. Okay. Yesterday. Okay. Good. Good. Now here we have like a division. Here we have two categories: regular and irregular. Okay. Now the other thing that I consider that it is really but quite important, it is the when we are talking about the simple, the regular verbs, they have a specific <clears throat> pronunciation in the past. Hey, okay. uh, you have you have been present when I was explaining this, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, but as good. I know is sif sifony, something like that. Okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Now that that you have an idea about the pronunciation, the, the writing, I consider that you ha should have more contact with this kind of verbs. How? I'm going to show you three forms in which you can practice. Number one is look for songs that talk about uh, past events. There are a lot of songs that they talk about past events. And you can Google that. You can look for a uh, top 100 or top 10 of songs that talked about past events. Some of in, in, in that in that way and you, you can learn a lot of verbs one number two you can have a, you can look for stories or anecdotes in english so in that way you're going to learn about that because stories or anecdotes they are explained and described by using a regular and irregular verbs in the past and the number three is look for some series or cartoons or whatever, but that talks about past events. So I consider that if you have contact with these three types of exercises or practice, maybe you can acquire more vocabulary and you can have more coherence in your you, you can you may think at the end of this like oh this is logical this is not so complicated i i watch teacher um, many times teacher i watch and listening to music just i mean english also serious as well like you were saying a few minutes ago you know so i have been really trying you know my hostel you know what i'm saying struggle yeah oh, yeah so, yeah i got it in and... some, some cases i didn't know why they don't accept me I mean, maybe it's because my fluency no is like enough, or my pronunciation, or I when don't... I talk in the past, I am not be able to pronounce very well, like decided or tired, because I start to speak in past, like like today in the morning I got up early in the morning, I took a shower, took my feet, right, I took a bus around two p.m. right, two minutes ago we were studied. English classes, right? And I played video games, so I yeah. didn't know why. Maybe I need to improve more. Maybe. Well, I consider that one of the best aspect that your English has is the fluency, because you speak really fast. Believe me, it, the problem is not fluency uh, in your case. Uh, I. I... I, uh -huh. don't be, I don't believe you so much because call center, they don't accept me. 
I am a slower learner for them, basically. No, no. Uh, what I mean is that, okay, they maybe can detail or they can say some things. For example, in my opinion, I consider that your English needs more coherence. What, what, what that word means? Coherence is coherencia. You are talking and you speak really fast, and that's good. But I consider that you need more vocabulary because you are like repeating some words, but maybe the idea that you want to convey, the idea that you want to give or to yes, send. Because uh, I learned right in these years that I've been studying English, I learned basically that if you are not be able to explain with a word or phrase, it's better try mm -hmm. to explain the situation with the context. So that's with the context. So that's why you you say I use maybe the same the same words. Yeah, of course, yeah, of but of course I knew uh, many words, but in some cases the other words that I can use right as a as a advanced speaker. Mm -hmm. But it's just example. Most of the time I forgot. So I use the base. Uh -huh. You, you, you use the, the, I use perhaps the basic or vocabulary. Type kind of mm -hmm. words or, you know. Okay. Maybe I could recommend you just practice, yeah, maybe the simple pass. As I told you, future is not that difficult, but as a, there are some things aspect that they mentioned it is not like that because i uh, because i remember that i learned before of being this program right i was in an academy and i learned things like today was a cloud day right isn't it or stuff like that I okay a little Maybe. bit about that but uh, basically teacher i am just here in class and i come here and just begin it yeah, but you're you are advancing. In my opinion, you're advancing. But let me tell you something that I, I really think. Um, remember that people that are contracting, they are hiring, they are recruiters. They uh, they want not the English people. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Basically. And besides besides that, it is like they are not professionals in human resources. They, they, they never are just... Been. No, they are just English speakers. Maybe they sometimes maybe they, their English is not a, that good, but they they have like different ideas and maybe they judge our aspects or some vocabulary that maybe they don't like. For example, when I was uh, studying English in my fifth year in my major, I was an university student and I went to try to 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 yeah to work in some different call centers and they didn't contract me and they didn't hire me and also my my, my friends my partners in the mayor and we were uh, we were saying after that like what well, what do they want specifically because after the the interview you have some other proofs and they have to train you. There is a training, okay? And maybe they are kind of selfish sometimes. He visto mucho egoísmo. A lot of selfish in the people who are recruiting. So uh, let's keep trying, uh, Jose. I believe that you have a lot of skills that can in be improved, but you, you have abilities. Okay, come on. You can do it, man. Yeah, because I remember the, the, the twice last time, right? That yesterday, basically around 2 p.m., the pit did beat me. They beat me. Even they asked me about what is the difference, difference between credit cards and debit cards. In debit Spanish, card. I know. In Spanish, I know, but that kind of topics, right? Okay. I didn't know really. Okay. So... Well, because, maybe because you, you, if you I have had, experience. Because if I had, because if I had the idea, I would, I would be able to do okay. it um, many times. You know, let's. I recommend you to 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 use the experience that you have had in different interviews. Okay, take that experience. Try to focus on the questions that you consider you were beaten. 
the questions that were kind of difficult and you didn't have the right answer. Even, even I remember one time uh, I, uh, I was be able to, to get one difficult question and I felt like maybe I advanced because they basically, basically they touch me, they give me information that I need to learn how to explain. And I, for, I forgot to say, but in Spanish, como bajar los cinco. Mm -hmm. Okay, my friend. Well, the time uh, is finished, my friend. I, I just can, uh, yeah, just say that you have a lot of skills, but maybe we have to improve some others. So let's keep trying. Remember that it is, they're just filters. And let, let's keep trying. There are a lot of call centers you can apply. Maybe okay. one, two, or three, or four times. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay, you have to do it. Okay, my friends. So the time has gone very fast. I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, remember on Friday hope we don't have classes. Okay, my friend, okay. keep on keep on working. Keep have on. a good night. Okay. Have a good night.